Welcome to this video presentation on Discrete Systems. Um, this one provides an overview of the Discrete Systems playlist that I've put together. Um, it's important to recognise that this presentation doesn't intend to introduce any new concepts. Um, it's really geared towards those who've already viewed the playlist or who have an understanding of Discrete Systems from before and they want to do a refresher on their understanding. Um, it would, might be useful for, for people who, who wish to view the playlist and to get an, a global view, but please be aware that um, we go through things quite quickly in these summaries. Okay, um, so let's just clear that and there's a few key points that we cover. Um, the first is that discrete systems basically manipulate or modify discrete signals. Um, they're comprised of these things called adders, multipliers and delays. Uh, it's important that you recognize that these things called signal flow diagrams are there to provide a nice conceptual view of the behavior of a discrete system. So, incorrect spelling there. Um, the, the difference equations are the mathematical views of a discrete system, and they're really important when it actually comes to implementing a discrete system. And it's also important to recognize this general form of a difference equation and I'll just show that I left it out. This is the general form of a difference equation. It's important to appreciate what it means. Uh, and finally, or sorry, just before the final point, discrete systems are implemented in software. Okay, so it can be implemented in MATLAB or C or any other programming language. But that's where they are actually implemented. And uh, the software implementations basically solve the difference equation for different values of n. So they're all the key points that hopefully you'll be clear on by the time we finish this presentation. So let's move on to the presentation anyway. Um, first thing to recognize is that our discrete system, we'll just label it as DS, uh, takes an input sequence of numbers which is generally labeled as X of N and produces an output sequence of numbers which will be labeled Y of N. Okay? Um, and we'll just give an example difference equation for a system. Okay, so that's our system and we might say um, y of n is equal to uh, 2 times x of n plus uh, 3 times x of n minus 1 plus 2 times y of n minus, uh, minus 2. Okay. Uh, so that's a difference equation that describes our system. So it describes how the signal can be manipulated. Um, and we'll draw a signal flow diagram associated with this difference equation. So we have an input, x of n, on the left hand side, and that's going into the system. And it's been, first of all, multiplied by a value of 2. And it's been added together with, it's been added with three other components uh, to produce some output y of n. So this is meant to be an adder. And the input being delayed is by one sample, it's been multiplied by 3 and that's going into the adder. I'll just show a few arrows. I don't always show the arrows. Um, and the output has been passed through two delays to produce... Oh sorry, that's not correct. The output of the two delays has been multiplied by a value of 2 and then been fed into the adder. Okay. So that's a quick signal flow diagram associated with this difference equation. It's important that you're able to relate the two. Um, so let's determine the output of this system for a couple of, uh, for a few different values. We'll just use two and three as the input to my system, nice small values that I should be able to calculate quickly. And what we'd like to do is be able to determine the output of this system for different uh, numerical values. Um, so the input to the system, first input is a value of two. That'll be multiplied by 2, it can be 4, and my first output will be 4 because I'll have zeros on these branches. So my first output will be, output will be 4. Um, let's just undo all that. First output will be 4. Um, my next output, uh, well the next input will be a 3, and the 2 from the previous uh, iteration will appear down here, and then I'll get um, 6 there and 6 here, and um, the 4 will appear here and we'll have a 0 there, so we'll get a 0 here, so that will be 12 as my next output. So my next output will be 12, that's the, that's the output of the adder, will be 12, so let's just undo all that. For 
underscore 12 there. Um, my next input will be, well, there's nothing explicitly defined, so the next input will be a 0. There'll be a 3 appearing here. 3, three, three by 3 will be given 9. There'll be a 0 there. Um, now there was a 4 up here, just between the two delays last time, so that will appear here on the next iteration, which will give me 8 there. My next output will then be 17. And just sitting in there will be the previous output, which is 12. Okay, so my next output will be 17. So let's just undo all that and record the result here. So there's the first three outputs, and there'll be a huge number of numbers coming after this. In fact, there'll be an infinite number of numbers coming afterwards. Um, but you should be able to calculate those in the same manner. Okay, so that's one way of calculating the output of a discrete system by hand. Um, the next important one is to work it out using um, using the, uh, the difference equation method, as we'll call it. So we'll use the difference equation method, which is basically by s solving the difference equation for different values of n. So my first output, which is labelled y0. So forget that we have these numbers here. My first output would be 2 times x of 0, because I'm substituting n equal to 0 into the equation. So plus 3 times x of minus 1, plus 2 times y of minus 2. Um, and the x0 will be a value of 2, so that will be 2. Um, x1 will be a value of um, 0, and y2 will be a value of 0, because they're not, not explicitly defined. Um, so that first output will then be 4. So let's just clear all that and just record the result. First output will be 4 as expected. Uh, my next output, so I'll solve the difference equation for 1 now, for n equal to 1, so that'll be 2 times x of 1, plus 3 times x of n minus 1, which will be 3 times x of 0, plus uh, 2 times y of um, minus 1. Um, now we don't have that value left, so it's 0 x0 we have, so that's two, 3 times 2, which will be 6, plus 2 times x1. x1 is a value of 3, so that's x1, that's x0. Uh, and that'll be a value of 6, so 6 and 6 will be giving me a value of 12. So I can record that result. So we're getting the same answers as we did from an analyzing the signal flow diagram, which is great. Uh, y of 2, again just substituting for n equal to 0, so it'll be 2 times x of 2 plus 3 times x of 1 plus 2 times y of 0. Again, substituting n for 2 in this case will be 2 times y of 0. So y0, looking up here, is a value of 4, so 2 times 4 is 8. x1 is a value of 3, so 3 threes is 9, so um, that's 9 altogether. And x2 is not explicitly defined, so that's 0, so it's 9 plus 4 is. Um, 13, so I've done something wrong, 9 plus 4, oh sorry, uh, 2 times 4, that'll be 8 there, so so the value of y0 is 4, but 2 times 4 will be 8 altogether, so 2, 4 is 8, 8 and 9 is equal to 17. So we are getting the same outputs, which you would expect of course, but it's important that you're able, you're able to use both views. Now the, the difference equation view is particularly important because this is effectively the way that what we've done by hand here is what you would how you would implement a, a discrete system in practice. So a discrete system will be implemented in some piece of code. So just to give you a brief outline, for you'd write a piece of code which looks something like this for n equal to zero, and in this case we've gone up to two n equal to two, you would solve this difference equation. So there's you can write that piece of code in MATLAB or C code or um, whatever. So I'll basically just be copying the difference equation that I have here over here. So you'll write some loop piece of loop code that will solve this difference equation for different values of n. Exactly like we've done by hand, only computers can do it much, much faster. Okay? So it's important to recognize that point. But I'm just going to clear that. The last key point that you should walk away from this playlist is that we have a, uh, um, an expression which we refer to as a general form for a difference equation um, and it's given by this expression equal to b0 x of n 
plus b1 x of n minus 1 plus b2 x of n minus 2 plus b3 x of n minus 3 etc and it goes on forever okay um, minus a1 y of n minus 1 and you should be able to write out this difference equation yourself really quickly because it's, it's very repetitive um, you can see the the repeating parts of uh, subscript of 2 delay of 2 minus a3 y of n minus 3 um, minus a4 y of n minus 4 etc okay so that goes on forever as well so that's a, what we refer to as the general form of a difference equation and it's really really important because a lot of the time when you're describing a system you don't give the difference equation or you don't use the signal flow diagram sometimes you just provide the um, sometimes you just provide the a and b coefficients so let's just list the a and b's coefficients of this difference equation here as an example so what's the value of b0 b0 is um, equal to well comparing these two b0 will be equal to 2 um, b1 will be equal to let's see well the x minus 1 has a value of x minus 1 has a value of 3 so b1 is a value of 3 uh, b2 will be equal to well there's no comparison so uh, b2 will be equal to 0 as will b3 b4 b5 etc um, so we've done the b coefficients the a coefficients then which are also referred to as the feedback a0 is equal to well that's always a0 that value there and it's more often than not equal to 1 okay um, a1 will be equal to in this case well I don't have any a1 coefficient so a1 will be equal to 0 a2 will be equal to well what's in front of the y n minus 2 we have a value of 2 so that'll be my a2 coefficient that'll be minus sorry that'll be minus 2 and a3 will be equal to 0 as will a4, a5 etc. Now these coefficients are very very important because uh, there's a lot of functions already there developed by others who have 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 um, spent a lot of time putting together functions that will make use of coefficients um, so for example we determine the output of this system by hand there is a MATLAB function called filter which if you provide it the B and A coefficients and the input it will determine the output so maybe just let me sketch that out so in MATLAB there's a function that if I said Y equals filter and I provided the B and A coefficients so the B are, is 2 and 3 and the A in this case is uh, 1 0 minus 2 and the input X which I would define as being this sequence of numbers that function will determine the output of the system so to do all this by hand which is effectively an implementation of the discrete system so knowing the A and B coefficients are, are crucial um, so I hope you appreciate that uh, view of a discrete system okay so that's basically it um, thanks for your attention and I'll see you in the next presentations